Harris, just off Santa Barbara Boulevard. For your corners, Malcolm Johnson joining us live in Cape Coral with more on what both neighbors and police are saying about this bust. Malcolm. Patrick and Amy, we are outside of the home where this illegal grow operation took place. This is the window that the SWAT team burst through. You can see the shards of glass right here and even this plywood that we believe that might have put up just to block the entrance of the home. But once the SWAT team got inside, they found 157 pounds of marijuana. Mangled blinds on the grass, blue gloves, and this gaping hole in the window provides a peek inside this home where Cape Police found 156 pounds of marijuana. You wouldn't suspect anything is out of the ordinary with this home. It's still got the Christmas lights hanging up, but the neighbors tell me this window right here, it didn't look like this yesterday, and they suspect this is where the SWAT team busted in and found the marijuana. Yosvani Sanchez and Katia Ruiz were arrested after the SWAT team went in. Ruiz put up a fight, hiding in the attic before cops detained her. I would always see someone there once a week, maybe, or so, so I kind of knew what was going on. Living next door, a retired police officer whose companion is a drug-sniffing dog. He could still smell the weed. I just give him the command. His command is Gifty. And then he knows he's working and he's going to look for the Gifty. And then he finds Gifty. He sits and he gets his reward. There's no reward for Tamara Howell. This is my mail and my delivery. Thank you. Who's been victimized in her neighborhood once. When we first moved in in August, um, or July and August, this car was broken into. And isn't pleased to know about the illegal drugs found minutes from her home. Really upset. I want to see more police out here. So I went to the Cape Coral Police Department. The people in that neighborhood, do they face any safety risks right now? These people who are growing these, these plants very often are willing to protect their harvest with lethal force. And you can see the shards of glass here. This police report indicates that before the search warrant was executed on this home, police followed Sanchez from another home in Lehigh Acres where they saw him take 10 fans, put those fans inside of a vehicle, then drive here to this home. And they believe that he used those fans to help cultivate the marijuana that they found. Reporting in Cape Coral, I'm Malcolm Johnson, Fox 4, in your corner.